Ano rei rei te whānau nau mai hoki mai a no hoki ki tēnei o ngā kaupapa a waka ira ira uh, rawa ke me ki. So uh, again, we have uh, another one of our wanaunga who are living overseas um, here to have a kōrero with us. He oi, uh, mua mai o tērā e te whānau, uh, mā nei waka mārama ki a tātou a kō wai ia a nō pēa ia. Uh, just give us a little bit of an intro uh, on who you are, my brother, and where you're from. Oh, uh, kia ora, uh, ko rua pehu te maunga, uh, ko wanga nui te awa, uh, ko au te te waka, ko puti ki te marae, uh, ko te ati hau nui a paparangi te iwi, uh, ko tūpoho te hapu. Uh, yeah, kia ora, ko Alex Kaplanis tōku ingoa, um, nō reira tēnā koutou katoa. Kia ora, but look, thank you for sparing up some time and uh, coming on here to give our wānau a bit of a kōrero, have a, have a kōrero with our wānau. Um, first of all, just let us know where you're living and what took you there. Um, so currently at the moment, I'm actually in Sydney in Australia, so not too far away. Uh, and the reason that I'm here was uh, for a job opportunity. So I'm actually currently doing an apprenticeship for metal fabrication and engineering. Um, so, yeah, there was just uh, an opportunity available here over in Australia and, and I took it. Um, so that's why I'm here and, and I've been here now for three years. Wicked, and without a doubt, a lot of our uh, cousins and Wano in Australia uh, could connect with their kōrero. Uh, but without a doubt, we've all seen, um, you know, the latest on COVID um, and everything that's going around now. We are currently in lockdown um, as we speak, my bro. But what does COVID look like uh, in your community? Well, it's uh, it's a pretty dire situation, actually. We um, we're also in lockdown um, and have been for nine weeks now, so just over two months. And uh, I guess very similar to what you've seen over there in terms of the restrictions. You know, only a few reasons that you can leave the home. Um, a lot of cases. I think just yesterday we had um, over a thousand cases in in 24 hours. So it's uh, it's quite bad here in terms of the the virus spreading. Um, and unfortunately, loss of life, you know, not a lot, but it's, I think any life really is too much. So, um, yeah, we, um, I'm fortunate enough to be able to travel to work, uh, but as an essential worker, but unfortunately, um, due to the whole financial situation, I only, I'm only working two days. So there's just not enough mahi around for us uh, at work. So, yeah, two days, um, Monday and Tuesday at work. And then the rest of the time at home trying to find something to do. So, yeah. Oh, look, without a doubt, a lot of our wano can also uh, connect mm. with their kōrero. I guess for your community, what kind of measures have been put in place um, to keep your fellows selves safe? Uh, um, well, actually, in terms of our specific community, we, we have um, our, our local government area, our council area. We're restricted to that area. So... If you leave that area, there's only a very uh, few amount of reasons, and that's for essential work. So, yeah, pretty much your council area is the, the furthest that you can travel. Um, when it comes to exercise outside the home, there's a 5K radius, I think, five-kilometre radius, um, which is reasonable, I guess. Um, yeah, of course, we have the, the mask wearing, social distancing, as everyone does. But, yeah, pretty much you can find to your own council area. Um, over here in Sydney, so yeah. Uh, look, and I guess for you yourself, um, vaccination, big call at all. Uh, you know that's been going around the world. How how do you feel about that? It is it is a big call at all, and I know a lot of people have their own opinions. Some people support it, some oppose it. Uh, me personally, I've had my first um, dose done. Uh, that was done a week ago, and and yeah, for me, I just believe that that's perhaps the best way to to go forward from this you know once everyone's vaccinated kind of like the flu everyone's had their shots and and people won't get as sick so i i would encourage you know uh wano and friends to you know seriously consider the opportunity to get themselves vaccinated you know and help stop the spread so brother do you know yourself personally someone who has um come in contact uh, with covid uh, I do actually, and it's quite recently, um, a week ago actually, a, a family friend 
uh, who's now unfortunately in hospital. She, her health has hasn't been the best since getting COVID. Um, so yeah, it, it has hit close to home. I guess you know we do know people who have had the virus. It's not just something that you see on the news and something you say, oh, you know, it's not us. It won't be us. But in some cases, it can be you, and you just have to be so careful. Definitely. Look, and that's always, that's something important too. For Awano to hear, I guess, um, you know, and that's the big, that's a big part of these corridors to get the realness um, from all out Wano who are living overseas. Um, so I guess, look, let's go back before COVID. Um, I guess, what was, what was your day-to-day life kind of like? It was uh, Monday to Friday. Yep. Five days a week, Mahi. Uh outside as much as we wanted to, doing whatever we wanted to, thinking about um, travelling home, actually, you know, back to Putiki at Christmas time, there was plans in place. I was actually thinking about going to the uh, the rugby in Perth uh, to watch the All Blacks, but since mm-hmm. COVID, all of that's changed, everything's changed, and it's all been thrown upside down. It's all in limbo. We, we just don't know. There's so much uncertainty. Definitely, bro. Look, and I guess... For those of our Wano who are out there, because uh, like you've already stated in this interview, that um, there are some for and against um, the vaccine, some for and, you know, think that it's total conspiracy, COVID-19. Mm-hmm. What is your advice or some, you know, mm-hmm. it's not just about you, you know, it's about, it's about your your whanau, your friends. It's about people in your community. You might not get it. Other people might. Or perhaps you'll get it and you might not get very sick from it. But you could pass it on to a komatua, someone who will get sick from it. So you have to not necessarily think about yourself, but think about other people, you know. And and if you're, if you're concerned about you know, the virus perhaps being a bad thing for you. Just just look around and, and you can see all the people who've had the vaccine and who haven't had those negative effects. Of course, with anything that happens in life, there's going to be good and there's going to be bad. But I think in this situation, the good outweighs the bad. Oh, look, brother, it's been, it's been an honour and a privilege having a caught it all with you, having a catch up uh, to let our Wano know what's happening over in that side of Australia. Look at the Fanaunga Kia Pai Te Toing O Tora. Be safe and uh, love to the rest of our Wano who are in Australia. Absolutely, yeah. Stay safe, everyone. Stop the spread. Do what you have to do. Just follow the rules. It's not hard. Stay home. Stay safe. Kia Ki Wano. Kia Ki Waka Papa.